It's the end of our trip, but this is the beginning of this video. These are the best spots for snorkeling in Curacao. I'm Jen. This is my wife, Rachel. We've taken the past nine days to check out the best snorkeling spots in Curacao and we've compiled them in this video so that you can see the footage that we got and hear our opinions on the spots and decide if it's good for you or not. The one really good website and really good resource for us that helped make all of this possible and made yep. this video possible, tropicalsnorkeling.com. Yep. They are gonna be the first link in the description box below. We purchased their snorkeling guide. It was, it was $20 for Curacao and it was worth it every penny that guide was fantastic yes so if you watch this video and you found it helpful you will find that guide very very helpful so that will be linked in the description box i can't recommend that enough so without further ado here are their best snorkeling spots in curacao let's start with the blue room <laughs> how'd that go blue room was a fail yeah we hiked there which that was cool. The hike, the was, hike was great. We were kind of nervous about doing the hike, but it was, I would totally do the hike. Mm -hmm. It's easy. Just like what you read online, you just follow the trail and when you start to see the blue dots, just follow the blue dots. Yep. Yeah, so we jumped in the water and I freaked out a little bit right at first because it was way deeper than I thought it was going to be. Like way deeper. Mm -hmm. There were a lot of little fish around and you can tell that they get fish thrown to them a lot. Or that they get fed. Or something. Yeah. Yeah, and they just like swarmed you and wouldn't go away. So that mm -hmm. was kind of I didn't like that. Mm -mm. And then we looked over where the blue room was. And it was dark. Like really dark in there. And I said to her, I didn't know if I wanted to go in there or not. And I agreed. It was it was too early in the morning. You want to wait until it's You just want the sun yeah. to be high in the sky to shine shine in there better. Okay. We were like, okay, let's get out of here. We can do this a different day. And so we're swimming back, and earlier I had felt something sting me, but I thought a little fish like took a nip at me, and I was like, whatever. I'm swimming back, and all of a sudden I'm like, I get hit like in three spots, and I was like, the. And I look, and there's these little teeny tiny jellyfish, all around. Then it hit me on the wrist. And then, but like that's how we had to get back to the cliff to pull ourselves back mm -hmm. over the cliff. So. We just went for it, and they were little guys; they didn't leave any marks. So yeah. thankfully, it wasn't anything major but yeah. then we had to climb back up on the rocks and getting in get closer. and getting in and getting out she's got um, some battle scars from climbing up yeah it's not so it's not for the faint apart on the trail to the blue room there's another little offshoot to go to san two three two beach so on the way back we hit that one it's <laughs> crazy so awesome. it, yeah it doesn't start like I mean, this one had some coral at the very, or some a reef at the very beginning. A lot of fish. A lot of fish, and then all of a sudden it just got really deep and huge rocks and reefs and lots of different corals. Yeah, like it's the best coral yeah. variety I've ever seen. Different colors and purple and yellow and yep, it was fans, it was really tubes, amazing. columns, mm -hmm. rain ones, like you name it. Yeah, yeah, that was. That was great. Yeah. Shore's a little rocky to get in on. Uh, I had little booties on my feet, which was nice. You didn't, mm -hmm. which was a bummer. Yeah. Looking out at the water, you enter in on the right, and then you swim left, go up around the, the cliff edge there, and just follow that, and there's tons to see. Yeah. That was awesome. So yeah. we left yeah. there, mm -hmm. came back here to where we're staying, which is Playa Lagoon. Yeah. And that was pretty cool. Yeah. Saw a couple sea turtles. Yeah. Little guys. They clean the fish here, and so they were eating some of the scraps. Lots of those tube fish, mm -hmm. those clear tube fish. Mm -hmm. Some decent of, corals. Yeah, a lot of parrot fish. Yeah, lots of parrot fish. Yeah. yeah, it was good. It's a nice uh, calm spot, mm -hmm. so very good for beginners, children, etc. Highly recommend it for that. For sure. That was day one. So yeah. coming up is day two. Day two for Klein Curacao. Klein Curacao. Yeah. We took Bluefin Charters. It's a 75-foot catamaran. The black and white. Yep, the black and white. Very fun. It was cool. Yeah. We had read online, as if you're looking into going to Klein, you will too, that it's a very rough ride over. And that is it's very, very, very true. There's other options that are cheaper than Bluefin. However, I'm glad we paid twice as much yeah. to use them because the ride was, it was smooth. Yep. 
and it was fun. I mean, and no the crew one. was awesome. The crew was fantastic. The food was great. Mm -hmm. the, the lunch was delicious. Yeah, lunch is included. Yeah. Highly recommend them. Yeah. Worth every penny. Yep, for sure. As for snorkeling. Snorkeling. Great for Not beginners. much to yeah. see. It was pretty. <clears throat> the water was beautiful. The water was The sand was crazy. gorgeous. Yeah. The, the snorkeling, if you're on the beach, go to the right. Um, it's a little yeah, more if you're fish. standing on the beach looking mm -hmm. out over to the right mm -hmm. has much more to check yeah, out. Yeah, a lot more fish. But yeah, there was some decent, there was some fun stuff. You'll see yeah. these, uh, like flat fish, some puffer fish. Yeah, a puffer fish, trunk fish, much my favorite. Yeah, a uh, bunch of fish hang around the boats because the boats will clean their dishes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and so we saw a turtle. A turtle. Yeah. Little guy. Yeah, he was little. He was very scared. He was. Yeah, and so he was pretty skittish. He, yeah. he didn't want to be on camera. I had seen another, when we were on the boat, I had seen another big turtle, but he was out more. He had come up for some air and then he, he took off, so yeah. I didn't get a chance. As far as the island, like, you know, you have that lighthouse. The lighthouse was cool. The shipwreck. The shipwreck was even quicker. Like, There's literally nothing to look at there. Yeah. But um, really cool stuff. 45 year old shipwreck, still yeah. standing. So overall, like, we're not selling it much, but I'm really glad that we did it. Catamaran experience, being there, the f like everything mm -hmm. just made it really yeah. worthwhile and then we met some really cool people we did another day another snorkel two snorkels yes yeah first spot playa <laughs> di by yeah playa di buoy da buoy there we go meh yeah it was okay more little tiny jellyfish that yeah. stung us and stung me pretty good like left mark not much for coral mm -mm. not really even that much for fish no uh, I was, I gotta be honest, pretty unimpressed underwhelmed. Yeah. yeah, we didn't stay very long. No. It was an easy snorkel though. Yep. And it was a nice looking beach. Yeah. Like a nice beach to hang out on. Yep. So if you're looking for something like that, it'd be a good spot. Mm -hmm. The second one I got quite a bit to say about, <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> which is Playa Largo. How getting to this is, it's interesting. It's this little dirt road. You go down that quite a ways. And then you come up to this little hut, and there were two guys sitting underneath it, and they came over. It cost six U.S. dollars for us to go through. Mm -hmm. And then you had to drive along another path where I strongly recommend you do not drive a Chevy Spark like <laughs> we did. A four-wheel drive would be perfect. Highly recommended. Yeah. It was just a little nerve-wracking because the jagged rocks. It was super bumpy. Yeah. Super rocky. Pretty steep in parts. Yep, dirt. in the beginning. Yeah. And then it got a little better. Yeah. So anyways, we drove back to this thing and we got pulled up to the beach. Only car there. Uh -huh. And it looked stunning. It, it was gorgeous. Beautiful. Real rocky, so make sure you have shoes. A rocky entrance into yeah. the water. Yeah. A tropical snorkeling, they had said that you wanted to go, when you're standing facing the water, you wanted to go out to the left. You're going to see some elkhorn coral sticking up out of the water a little. And they said head towards that. And you... We saw that. We saw where mm -hmm. that area was. So we, so we swam out towards those alcorns, and those babies were, they're massive. They're so big. Like it was really cool to see coral like that. Yeah. Aside from that, there wasn't a ton to see. No, there's, you know, there were quite a few fish living, you know, hiding underneath the shade of in the alcorn, uh, coral. But not tons of fish. No. But it was worth it just to see those giant alcorns. Oh, man. So that was definitely worth doing. It was worth the six bucks. Yes. I would sure. recommend that one. It was fun. Snorkel recap for Klein Nip. What other names does it go by? Kanepachiki? Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty. It the, was be pretty. the beach was good. The beach was beautiful. Yeah. If you want to chill on a nice beach, I yeah. highly recommend. Yep. It was good. There were, I don't know if it's just a busy, a busy beach where there's not, I mean, the, not tons of fish around. Yeah, not tons to see. I mean, there were some decent corals, some mm -hmm. decent fish, but again, not yeah. the best that we saw. Yeah. But there was some visually interesting things to check yeah. out. So it's worth, if you're up around this way, it's worth putting on your list. Oh, for sure. Yeah, we uh, saw a couple of yeah. cool little things that we yeah. hadn't seen anywhere else. Yeah. So it's it's worth it if you just want to do like a snorkel and chill. Not much to say about it tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow we're going to have plenty to say. We'll have lots to say. Two snorkel spots today, very close to each other. First spot, Director's Bay. Really good. Yep. Real intimidating for me. 
because she gets scared. Yeah. With deep abyss. It was just beautiful blue water because the sand was white, and then it was just drop off and dark Sandy. blue with beautiful. beautiful corals. This spot on tropical snorkeling was ranked really, really high, mm -hmm. and it was well worth it. Yeah. Coral wise, the best. Yeah. The best that we've seen. Yeah. It was. Uh, yeah. Spectacular. They had warned a little bit about the current in uh, in the snorkeling guide. I it mean, was there fun. was a current, but it wasn't anything to be concerned about. Right. If you're a moderately... And I would use fins again. Yeah, for I sure fins. fins. If you're a moderately yeah. good swimmer, you'll be fine. But snorkeling-wise... Yeah, really, really cool. Great coral. Oh, I saw a fish that I, we've never seen before. Did you see the one I pointed to? Yeah. Yep. I'll show that on the screen right yeah. now. Looking out at the water, over to the right, there's a little cliff point, like, right there. And if you swim out and around that and follow along the wall, that's where all the best healthy corals are. And yep. it was absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Man. Yeah. It was, it was Fantastic. really good. Fantastic. Yeah. And then the second place? Tugboat. Yeah. Also really cool. Yeah. The actual snorkeling, it was really cool to see. Yeah. It was a really cool boat. Yeah. That was really uh, fun. Fun coral on the boat. Fun fish around yeah. the boat. In the boat. A lot it's, of sea urchins were on the boat as well. And just a lot yeah. of growth all over the boat. And you can see like this little tugboat, but it's got all this life on it, which mm -hmm. was really, really fun. Yeah. It was fun to see. It was fun to get shots of. Yeah. If you're into photography or videography, it was really fun. Yeah fun from that angle for sure I highly recommend that yeah in that area that's really the only thing that's worth looking at yeah we went over kind of by those mooring platforms and there really wasn't a whole lot to talk about yeah. and then the coral on the way in and out I mean just normal. there's just really nothing yeah. to talk about there so yeah. if you're going there just swim out to the tugboat check that out to your heart's content and yeah well some of the some of the boulders coming back were pretty clean or on the cliff side were pretty good yeah. But just, but nothing we haven't seen yet. Yeah, so. nothing compared to the actual boat. Yeah. Sunken boat. Was that was good. a good day. That was a very, very good day. A really rolling. fun, really fun day. Buenos bon dias. <laughs> Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz. Me. It was good. It was good. When you get to the beach, you're standing out looking to the water, and where you want to snorkel is off to the left. A point. rocky point. Mm -hmm. And right around that point is where you want to snorkel. So we swam out there and it was a good bit of swim. 150, 150 yards. 200 yards. 200, yeah. yeah. So you swim out there and I like, there was some, there was some good stuff. Yeah, there was some good stuff to see. It was, it was worth it. It was really windy that day and the swim back was literally the hardest swim I have ever swam in my life. It was, it was rough and uh, yeah. So if you're was... gonna do that one, I would, Try to choose a non-windy day. Oh, well, first of all, with Santa Cruz, it's a Salina. Yes. Very cloudy when you first enter, and it doesn't clear up until you hit that point Good. about. Yeah. So just be patient. Yeah. Got a ways to swim. It It'll does clear, clear up. up. And also, it's like out of nowhere else, and it's yeah. just clear. Yeah. And then we went to Playa Grande. Yes. Slash Playa, Playa Pescado, Pescado. Which is for sea turtles, because mm -hmm. the fishermen take their fish remnants and they throw mm -hmm. them in the water so big turtles yeah, come and huge turtles i'm not really a fan of encountering turtles that way right. but i mean they're big giant sea turtles mm -hmm. which is always cool to see yeah. we got some good footage of the turtles they're really slow because they're just kind of waiting around <laughs> really slow <laughs> they're just kind of waiting around for i was reviewing the video and i was like did you shoot this in slow motion <laughs> nope. nope they just moved that slow yeah just okay. there. so that was neat to see yeah. i mean we spent all of what Five to ten Five, minutes yeah. there. You won't spend very long. Let's see them and go. Yeah. We still have to go to the blue room. And we might throw in a couple other little smaller spots here. Yeah. A surprise as to what's next. Yep. Ah, this lighting might not be the best, but that's all right. New digs. Play a Jeremy. <laughs> yeah. Eh. I mean, if you're bored and you want to check out something new, go for it. But yeah. I, I got to be honest, it's, it's skippable. Yeah. Oh, for sure. We hung out at the beach. It was a nice beach to hang out nice, at. Nice and quiet. Yeah, it was. But snorkel-wise, not much to say. Mm -mm. Today we went to Porto Marie. Oh, yeah, which was fun. Yeah, that was really fun. And our tropical snorkeling guide didn't have it rated really high. 
Um, however, they made that guide a few, quite a few years ago. Mm -hmm. um, we enjoyed it. Number yeah. one, it's a really nice beach to hang out at. It was, it was clean. You do have to pay an entry fee. At the time we went, 2019, $3 per person, snorkel-wise. Yeah, so in 1999, Curacao placed reef balls in this beach area and they were still there and really cool. We saw some fun fish and some fun new yeah. things. There were a lot of little mm -hmm. fish mm -hmm. and, and the reef balls had some decent growth on them mm -hmm. you know, after 20 years. Yeah. Nothing crazy insane, but it was, I had a lot of fun yeah. scooting around looking at yeah. those things. I, I really enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was just a really enjoyable snorkel. Yeah. I, I really liked it. Yeah, for sure. I, and I think the drop off is right behind them. We didn't go very. We didn't go to the drop off, but we just checked out the reef balls. Yeah. And that was it. Was a good time. Yeah. So, I I recommend checking that one out. I do as well. Blue okay. Room. Totally forgot about the blue room. Yeah. Went there for the second time. Actually made it into the blue room this time. All right. And it was cool and it was worth it. Yeah, for sure. This time we went in the afternoon, which the afternoon's the time to go so that the sun can blast in there. The blue room was cool. The light was shining in. Some big balls of fish were really cool yeah. but it was a quick i mean we don't have much footage mm -hmm. it was quick it was neat to see yep and that's about it yeah i'm glad we did it yeah me too so those were all the snorkeling spots there were a lot it's a packed jam eight nine days that we were jam packed in. packed jam yep <laughs> jam packed <laughs> eight nine days of snorkeling but it was a blast amazing and hopefully you found this video super helpful again if you did you need to check out tropicalsnorkeling.com I will definitely, definitely be back to Curacao. Most definitely. Enjoy. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a like, comment in the comment section below, and subscribe to the channel for our future snorkeling adventures. Yep. All right. Thanks, everyone. Bye.